Hi, I'm Solon Sarko with PMS Cox News, and today we're going to be talking about the EF3 tornado that happened last year. About the EF3 tornado last year. So, this is the tornado damage, and this damage caused more than 500 homes to be destroyed or damaged and tore up a five to six mile pathway and 50 people were injured and five people died to the tornado and my experience was i was in lockdown and pinnacle view with my friends we were saying nothing would happen and my mom started texting me like crazy and telling me to stay safe i did not have any fear inside me for some reason while i was in lockdown me and my friends started making jokes and playing around after we were good to go after class, we were told to go to B4. After a few minutes at B4, we were told to go on lockdown for the second time because there was another tornado in the area. And the rebuilding is the city of Little Rock is continuing to clean up and rebuild parks that were damaged in the EF3 tornado that hit on March 31st, 2023. Many of the residents and officials said they were immensely proud of what has been rebuilt and the years of work remain ahead for many. I'm Solom Sarko with PMS Skyhawks and Go Skyhawks. I'm Solom Sarko with PMS Skyhawks News and I'm going to be interviewing Suhas Menon about the EF3 tornado last year. So where were you when this tornado happened? Uh, I was with my social studies class and when we got the tornado, like when, when like the alarm went off, we went to the nurse's office and we stayed there until like it was clear. All right, so uh, were you affected by the tornado? Uh, for, for the rest of that day, the power was out of, at my house, but other than that, nothing else really happened to me. All right, so how, what was you like? What was going on? Like, how did you feel while I it felt, was happening? I was worried for my family. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, worried that like you know something might happen. I was worried that something might get destroyed. You know, I was just kind of worried, but you know, at the end, I knew that things would be okay though. All right, thank you. My interview is uh, Suas Menon, and I'm Solom Sarko with PMS Skyhawks News, and go Skyhawks.